Hello, my witchy peeps and family. It's your sister witch, your high priestess again. And today I am going to talk about Obatala, the Orisha Obatala. And Obatala's name is spelled O-B-A-T-A-L-A. -A -A. Now, Obatala is central to the creation myth of the ancient Yoruba cultures of West Africa. Okay, um, he is also manifested in the white gods of creativity and justice. And that is gods like Olodumare and Oko, Oshela. Now, he also provides the moral purpose of the historical king Shango. And Shango is the Orisha of lightning and thunder. Now, it is said that Obatala was created and he descended from heaven on a chain to mold the first humans and indeed to mold every child in the womb. Although he is only one aspect of Aludamare, and Aludamare is the Almighty God. Now, Aludamare is the only one that can breathe life into the creations of Obatala. Okay, and like I said, Obatala is the one who is known for creating mankind, creating the body. Okay, and all of other all of the other things that walk the earth. Now, Obatala is the kindly father of all the Orishas and all humanity. He is the owner of all heads in the mind. Though it was Aluron who created the universe, it is Obatala, as I was saying earlier, who is the creator of humanity and mankind. Now, Obatala is the source of all that is pure, wise, peaceful, and compassionate. He has a warrior side, though, through which he enforces justice in the world. And Obatala's colors is white. And with his color, main color being white, there is also other colors associated with him, like red, purple, to represent his, her, different paths. White is most appropriate for Obatala as it contains all the colors of the rainbow. Obatala is the only Orisha that has both male and female parts. Did you hear what I said? Let's talk a little bit more about that, okay? Now, Obatala does not have a permanent gender. He is androgynous. He is married to Yemaya, the goddess of oceans and the godmother of Orishas. He is free of gender. However, Obatala could be male, female, or neither. This asexuality makes Obatala the god of all human beings without regard to gender. So Obatala, he has no patience for fights and different things that goes on in the human and communities and with mankind, okay? So as we go back, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the things that Obatala likes, some of the offerings that he likes and what you can give to him. And um, it is also said that he is a saint among saints in the spirit of act activity and creativity. And he has been carried to many cultures of the new world where for centuries Obatala has been honored as patron of children, childbirth, albinos, and anyone with a birthmark. In the new world, as it is in the old world, it is said that Obatala marks his children. And in Yoruba, Oba means king, and Tala, Tala is undyed fabric. The blank heavens 
canvas, which is why the king of the white clouds is said to be a tranquil judge. Obatala is honored with brilliant white cloth, white lace, white beads, cowrie shells, white flowers, silver coins, and silver jewelry. He is honored with white hens, snails, some of his other offerings are white meal and soup, pounded yams, and other white food such as eco, fermented corn wrapped in plantain leaves. Obatala's priests and priestesses were only white, although his warriors had a dash of blood red. Achosi, who is the Orisha of the hunt, is Obatala's scout and surveyor and guards an inner court of the altar of Obatala, an ancient city of Ifi. Now, the gentle Obatala is also associated with honesty, purpose, purity, peace, the new year, forgiveness, and resurrection, which is why some authorities associate him with Christ and the Egyptian Osiris. As the divinity of creative form, the old man is the patron saint of artists called the divine sculpture. He is also Alamo Riri, the one who turns blood into children. He is Alabashi, the wielder of scepter of life, and he is Ohoho, the father of laughter, who sits in the sky like a swarm of bees. And this is what I have to say about Obatala. I will have a couple of links in the description box where I found the source information. And there's a lot more information about him. These are just a few things I wanted to share with you all about Obatala. And I hope that you all have enjoyed this video. If you would like to get in contact with me and talk about Obatala or if you're needing a spirit reading or root work services, please contact me at highpriestesskathy at yahoo.com or highpriestesskathy at gmail.com. I will have a link in the description box all there for you. So if you have any questions about how to contact me, it's right in the description box below this video, okay? So I'll also have other important information there. I want to thank you all